Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Adam and in this video, I'll be going over how to price your SaaS with Go High Level. So the first thing that we need to understand is why do people buy? And people buy based off the fact that once they buy something, it will have a positive impact on their life. So an example would be someone that they, somebody that pays a gym membership uh, every single month and how this actually benefits their life. They become more healthy. Maybe they don't have the equipment at their house or something like that. So going to the gym, getting the equipment that helps them to be healthy. Uh, maybe they get the trainers and, and guidance at the gym as well. So, and like I said, people buy based off the fact that once they buy something, it will have a positive impact on their life. So if you can deliver positive results, you can get paid money for that. One other thing is longevity. And there's a reason that most SMAs lose their client after three months. So you'll see in month one, they get their first client and they make $3,000. Month two, they get the 3,000 again. Month three, they get another 3,000. But after that, client ends up just canceling. And that's simply just because no small business is willing to pay two to $3,000 per month for 10 plus years. So if, if you're running Facebook ads for a business, they're not going to pay you $3,000 a month for 10 years, it's just not going to happen. Same thing if you're going to run uh, TikTok ads or just any sort of social media marketing. No business or small business is going to pay you two to $3,000 for this service for that long. Compared to charging $300 to $500 per month for software, it's just a way better option. And because of this, or because of the software, you create a system that you set up and now their whole business runs on that system. So if you take their business, pair it up with your system, you become irreplaceable. So when you have the ability to charge a lower cost while providing so much value, so you can see the cost and the value of being the system that your client runs their whole business, then like I said, you're irreplaceable. And because if the business is solely relying on your software to actually run and manage their entire business, they need you. So they would never replace you. And that's why I say you become irreplaceable. So here's how I price my SaaS so I become irreplaceable as well. So the first offer that I'll do is I'll pick one of these features that I will give away for free to the business. So this would be Google review automation, website, uh, or just any other type of automations. Most businesses will turn this down because it's free. But now we'll then offer them a second offer of $500 per month where they'll get Google review automation, website, missed call text pack automation. So they get one of these. So you'll offer one of these as a, as a thing that they're going to pay for. So maybe if you offer them a website, um, that website will then shine light on the new issue that they have of Google review automation, because if now they have a website, but no reviews, no one's going to actually go onto that website. So that can be a thing that you can use to, uh, your leverage, but the most likely hear you out since you provided free value to them. And it'll also get them thinking. If your free thing is already high value, then your paid thing must be even more value. So they'll think that your paid thing must be really good, making them want to buy even more. Because like I said, if you offer a free website, as an example, you're giving something that's already valuable, and then you're going to give them something that helps their other solution. And because it's a paid thing, it, it just has to be a lot more valuable. In their mind, they will think that it's a lot more valuable, but that's not it. We need to over deliver on our offer so that their perceived value is even higher. So what I mean by this is right now your client sees your current offer like this. This is the line of fair value where they're paying $500. So this is the value of $500 and then miss call text back. So they meet each other. Um, so it's fair value. This is what they see so far. They see that it's fair and equal. So here's how I over deliver. I give the rest of Go High Level away to them for free. And they now think that they're getting thousands worth of value for the same price they were going to pay. So there's a huge discrepancy of value at the same price. So before they were here paying $500 a month for missed call text back. So the one feature that we were offering to them for $500 a month. Now we've given them access to everything else. So we've given all of this free, pretty much free value. But now they're thinking that they're paying 500 for all of this, where it was, they were paying 500 and they were just getting this little portion here. So now they're paying 500, getting everything here. It's a lot more value. So client retention goes up. Instead of the client staying for four months, they stay for 10 plus years. So SMA compared to SaaS, 
So an SMA, let's say you get a client at $3,000 per month. First month, $3,000. Second month, $3,000. Third month, $3,000. Then they'll leave. Like I said, no business is going to pay you two to $3,000 a month for 10 plus years. It's just not going to happen. Total made $9,000 in three months, which is still great. SMA compared to SaaS, again, but we're going to look at SaaS. So you get one client at $500 per month, right? Month one, you get 500. Month two, another five. Month three, another five. Month four, another five. Month five, another 500. Month six, another 500. Seven, eight, nine, and just keeps going on and on. But in one year, you made $6,000. Mind you, this is all passive income. Because once you set once you set it up, all the work is done here. Once you set them up on the software, all the work is done. Now it's just pretty much just to, to pay to keep the software. So they're going to pay to just keep the software. So $6,000 and pretty passive. Whereas... If you look at SMA, you're doing work here. You're doing work here. Every month you're doing work. But SaaS, you set up one time right here. You're not doing any work here. So once you set it up, it's it's all passive and you can just keep going. But now, let's look at it in a bigger perspective. You get paid 6000 per year. So year one, 6000 Year two, 6000 Year three, 6000 And like I said, you set it up that first time and it that's it. There's no work done. So all these years, you're just collecting $6,000 and it's passive. Total made $36,000 in six years. You're not doing anything. All you did was offer them missed call text back and then the rest of the features of Go High Level. And they're just paying to keep that system or to keep your software because their whole business relies on it. Passively. So here's another way to look at it. If you get three clients or three new clients every month at $500 per month. So month one, let's say you get three clients, $500 per month. In the first month, you'll make $1,500 per month. It's good. Six clients. So now you get another three. Now you're at six. $3,000 per month. You get another three. Nine clients. Now you're at $4,500 a month. You get another three. Twelve clients. Now you're at $6,000 a month. Then you get another three. $7,500. Then you get another three. 18 clients. And now you're at $9,000 a month. And like I said, these clients. So you set up one client. After that, pass it. Set the other one passive. So every single one of these, after you set them up, is all passive. So this essentially becomes more of a passive income. Yes, you will get clients here and there that will ask you like, hey, can you change this for me or can you work on this? So you will have those type of tasks. But as you scale up, you can start to hire out. You can hire virtual assistants to handle all these tasks for you. So that can be um, if they want to change something within the software or just anything else, you can probably just hire out and then you wouldn't have to really worry about it. The best part is the workload stays the same unless you try to get more than three clients per month. So let's say you just want to get three clients a month. The amount of work that you have to do, it's not going to change. Every month, it's the same amount of work. But like I said, maybe you might, maybe it's a little bit more work because maybe you have a few clients that reach out to you to change some things. But for the most part, same amount of work. But if you work more to get more clients per month, you'll scale a lot faster and make more money. So if you're looking to get five clients per month, you can kind of do the math yourself. Um, you will be able to make more money a lot quicker. But going back to the main thing earlier on how you actually want to structure it so that you can keep get this longevity and also become irreplaceable is making sure that you have a good offer at a good price, right? So like I said, our first offer is going to be free. This will get us in the door working with the business or pretty much offering a solution that shines light on another problem that they have. So let's say we go, uh, like I said earlier, with a website. The website will shine light on the other problem that they have, and that is not having Google reviews. So you set up that website, you give it to them completely for free. You're not going to charge them at all for it. No setup fee, nothing. You just give it to them for free. You set them up on it, everything like that. So now they're already getting a taste of your software. They kind of how everything looks, how everything works and stuff like that. Then what you'll do, I'll offer the other solution to the problem that they have. So the new problem that they have is they don't have reviews. And we will offer that as a solution now. I'm not saying because if you're doing a website, you have to do Google review automation. You can also do any type of other automations. You can also automate their website, maybe a contact form automation. Like I said, there's a lot of different things that you can offer to them. But this second offer is where you will get paid. But this is not the, the uh, longevity part. The longevity part comes when you provide every or over deliver on the software. So like I was saying earlier, with a line of fair value, you want to go over that line and provide even more value. So if they see this as fair, you just want to 
go over that and how you can do that is just within go high level turn on their permissions and give them access to everything within go high level so that's just an easy way to kind of over deliver and make sure that they feel like they're getting a way better deal than they already were because right now they already feel like they're getting a good deal but if you can over deliver on that they're going to feel like they're getting an even better deal and they'll feel that if they leave you it would just be a stupid decision and it just doesn't make any sense for them to leave especially with getting um all the other features that they can use within their business they start using these features and now they rely on your software within their business or because their whole business is now running on your software so yeah that is going to be it for this video hopefully you did find this video helpful if you did like it make sure to hit the subscribe like and share button it really does help me out a lot if you do want to start your go hell with SaaS agency i do have my free course down below you'll be able to follow that course uh, get your entire go high level account set up uh, within a day uh, and also i do have a 30-day free trial link to go high level as well that you can use to get signed up so you don't have to go with the standard 14-day trial also when you do sign up with my link you will get a mentorship resources guides courses everything like that if you sign up with my link you will get access to all these other benefits that i have as well so like i said if you did find this video helpful make sure to subscribe and share as it does mean a lot that's gonna be it